Hey, it's Friday and I'm starving. So we're gonna eat something today. Every Friday I try things, recipes, that I find on packages in the stores. Too often we pick up a package in the grocery store and we just use it for that same old thing. But what about the recipe that's on the product packaging? The brand is telling us, hey, don't just cook that same old thing again. Cook this instead. So that, that's what we try to do. We find the recipes and if it looks weird or something I've never had before or delicious, then we try it. This week I'm actually trying one of your recommendations. As usual, if you see something in the grocery store that catches your eye and you're like, well, I don't wanna waste my time trying it, but I think Kat will, then tell, leave a comment below. Tell me the product, I'll try it. So that's exactly what Rosie Lady Knits did and she recommended that I check out the Keebler Graham Cracker Box for magic bars. Now, if you're gonna call your recipe magic bars, I feel like it's gotta be a home run. Magic edible magic in my mouth, it's going to be divine or else. My initial issue was that I was going into the cracker and cookie aisle when actually the Keebler cra cracker crumbs are in the baking aisle. They actually are not crackers at all. My guess is that people were using Keebler, Keebler crackers and they were making pie crust out of it. So Keebler thought, to heck with that. We'll give you the crumbs. Now you can make your pie crust, crust without annihilating a bunch of tiny little elf cookies that never hurt a thing. So without further ado, we will be making these magic cookie bars. My question is, can the magic bars beat out the Rice Krispie Treat fan favorite? Rice Krispies have a monopoly on the easy dessert market using a box of cereal. So have you ever made Rice Krispie Treats using Cinnamon Toast Crunch instead of Rice Krispies. It's so good. To make this recipe, we're going to pour um, melted butter into our baking pan. Now we need one and a half cups of you. Evenly pack crumbs into pan. Okay, now we drizzle sweetened condensed milk over the top. So now we sprinkle coconut over the top, chocolate chips over the top, peanut butter over the top, nuts over the top. So I accidentally bought Reese's baking cups and Reese's pieces candy instead of peanut butter chips. I guess the bright colored bag distracted me. But I think these will work. I mean, I can just eat them like that any day. All right, they're ready for the oven. I think it looks delicious. They got a little more magical with, with the Reese's, you know. Now it just looks like a straight up candy bar. I think I lost my kids at the coconut. They won't even try it. Um, and I sealed the deal with the almonds. So you know what they say, more for me. <laughs> and boy, do I need it. 25 minutes in the hat you go. Look at our magic bars. They look like magic. You know, I'm, I like the pop of color in these. Imagine how plain they would be if we had just put the peanut butter chips in them. I think we've improved the magic bars. Maybe Keebler needs to strike a deal with Reese's and make, make some magic happen. They're still a little warm, but I'm impatient. So we're gonna cut right into them and we're gonna take a bite. Maybe several. It's quite a sturdy bar. I'm pleased about that. Look, I like coconut and I like almonds. I like all these things. It just feels like a hearty candy bar looking at it but i'm gonna go in we're in trouble guys these taste really good it is magic because it's just full of candy and chocolate and i mean the coconut's healthy right keebler magic bars you're stuck in my teeth but i'm gonna say that's a huge yes magic cookie bars i keep saying magic bars or magic cookie bars these are so good uh, now at the beginning of the video, I said, are they going to, can they replace the traditional Rice Krispie Treat? To that I say, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm thinking of my family, we're very traditional, they don't mix things up. So if I were to bring these in, yeah, sure, they're good, but they're very rich, it's very filling, they're very, whereas like a Rice Krispie Treat feels like a little appetizer. It's not, it's kind of lighter. Um, so they're, they're kind of different taste wise. If you're just going to choose one for a snack after lunch on a random Wednesday, 
that I would choose this because we'll just look at it. If also calories were not a, a problem. Now, as far as my kids go, would they like this? I'm gonna say probably not. They're gonna pick up on that coconut right away. They, that's not gonna get past them. The almonds, they, they're gonna wonder what those are. And <laughs> they've never seen an almond before. When it comes to candy and sweets, my kids are more fruity like Sour Patch Kids, Starburst, Skittles, not candy bar. Um, that's my territory. Actually, I'll, I'll take both. I'm gonna recommend it. If you happen to pass by the Keebler Graham Cracker Crumbs, the Magic Cookie Bars have my seal approval. I'm gonna give it four out of five stars. I'm not gonna give it five stars because I don't think I'm gonna make it again. Now that's not, no offense, only because I'm the only one who will eat it. It's too sweet and chocolatey and wonderful. My family's weird. Also, I'm not gonna lie, health-wise, and no offense to Keebler, but this is not anywhere on the food pyramid. You're not gonna find a magic cookie bar. So I'm gonna save my five stars for something that's maybe a little bit leaning to the healthy side, equally delicious and easy to make, and something that my whole family's gonna love. Four stars is pretty darn good. I, I'd say we did pretty good today, so thank you. Thank you, Keebler. And thank you, Rosie Lady Knits, for, t for introducing us to the Magic Cookie Bars. If you were wondering if you should make it, you definitely should make it. It was really good. I just wish you were here so that I could give you one. And we could all share and eat it, and then I wouldn't be left to eat the whole thing by myself. All right, have a good weekend. Make yourself some Keebler uh, Magic Cookie Bars if you feel enticed to do so. Otherwise, I, I just, you know, enjoy your life. Bye. Lena is sick upstairs and she just <laughs> sent a message. It smells like brownies. Did you make them? I sent her a picture of it. I said, you want one? No. <laughs> I made some brownies. Do you want one? That's what I smell. You. No. Why? I'm not gonna have those brownies. They're so good. Just you try look one. look disgusting. What looks disgusting about it? Everything. What? Try Everything. this little part. So no. good. You say that and like I hate it. Just try it. If you it like was just a brownie, nothing else. I would have eaten it. That was something better. I'd rather have these cookies. They're store bought. This was homemade with love. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna just sit up here. I'm going down. You want to finish it? Mm -hmm. Nope.